Hey guys, so we have a quick unboxing here of the brand new iPhone 10, and in my opinion this is Apple's most exciting new iPhone since the original. Now bringing in some of Apple's most recent boxes, uh, of course the iPhone 10 box does look pretty familiar. So we have boxes here for the iPhone 7 Z8 Plus, but of course the big difference here is rather than seeing the back of the phone, you see in the front, and for very good reason this phone has a beautiful bezel screen display on it. So let's take a closer look at the 10. So still a very beautiful design, uh, nice and simple, minimalistic. Apple logo there at the bottom. And you just write iPhone, not even iPhone 10, just iPhone. And a look at the back, so some specs, some basic info we'll go over in a second. All right guys, let's go and unbox it. Apple always really nice, beautiful presentation on these boxes. Designed by Apple in California. So I feel like they've been doing this since the iPhone like 15 years back or so. And looks like some instruction manuals. Uh, so yeah, you have a lot of new gestures for this phone because no home button on it. And we'll be making a video on that in the future. Oh wow, so they actually do give you a SIM card ejection tool. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've had an iPhone with that, uh, at least for the United States. So cool to see, gonna make that video easier to do. And of course you do got your Apple stickers. So next up we have the iPhone 10. I'm gonna get uh, back this in a second. And once again guys, pretty familiar here, you have your power brick. Just a wall adapter here for charging. And you do have headphones with this, uh, as you guys see, you have an adapter as well in the back. This is phone does not have headphone jack on it. And this right here plugs into the lightning port, bottom of the phone. And that is where you uh, plug in your headphone jack into. And then we have a lightning cable. So a very typical iPhone box, but now let's get to the part you all care about. The iPhone 10 itself. Now for those of you guys who saw my iPhone 8 unboxing, uh, not gonna try to peel this wrapping up very quickly. Nearly destroyed that, and you guys can see that video in the top right corner. Nice and slowly, really beautiful design here. And the front as well. See, I ripped this off really quickly, and it uh, went across the desk. But as you guys see, again, beautiful design here. In a second, we'll be comparing the iPhone 10 versus other iPhones like the iPhone 8 Plus. But for now, it's going powered on. And in a second here, you guys should, uh, should see that beautiful bezel screen display. 5.8 inches OLED screen, 458 PPI. And pretty much all those stats, brand new for an iPhone. And there you guys go, so first look at it. So I'm gonna put my info on the back in a second. Oh, and something really cool with iOS 11 and the new iPhone, uh, they make it very, very simple to set up. So I have the iPhone 8 Plus here, and it's going to uh, automatically set me up based on the iPhone 8 Plus. And getting a uh, Face ID set up here for the first time. So let me see. Uh, I'm going to try doing this over the table here. Got the uh, try button there as well. So hopefully it doesn't mess things up. Oh, I'm supposed, <laughs> supposed to follow that, okay. All right, so let's see if this works. Okay guys, so we've been using the phone for about 20 minutes so far. And it says out the face ID here. It's actually the first time I've ever tried it out. Now the process itself is definitely not as efficient as a fingerprint scanner in my opinion. But the face ID itself uh, seems to be very uh, very reliable. So everything is getting set up right now in the background and very quickly let's go over the specs. So we have a 5.8 inch screen, 458 pixels per inch. Uh, the first iPhone with an OLED screen. Now the front facing cam on this is 7MP. And of course it is up here in this uh, area right here. And on the back, you have two cameras on it, and both of them are 12 MP. Now you have two options for storage. You have a 64 256, and I went with the 64 gigabyte model. 
Um, also battery size, 2716 capacity, which is okay, but uh, we'll see how it stacks up for us other phones in the battery life test. You have the latest a chipset, 3GB of RAM. Uh, again, no headphone jack on this one. And the phone is waterproof, IP67 certified. And looking at the bottom, you guys see a lightning port. And on the back, you have all glass, so the phone does support wireless charging. So we have Apple's most recent phones in a very, very brief size comparison here. So on the web, actually, you not know guys? I think that would be, yeah, it looks a bit better lighting there. So on the web, we have the iPhone SE, the iPhone 7, the 7 Plus, the 8 Plus, and the 10. And the only one missing here is the 8, although that's the same exact size as the 7. And then here's what the display is, so obviously the bezels on the 10 are much, much smaller than the rest of them. And very quickly, let's do a baby mini test between these five phones. Oh, thank God it actually worked that time. Okay, so the 10 first one boat up, then the 8 plus. And the SE, so it's a bit surprising, then the 7 plus. And finally the 7. And full comparisons of all these phones coming, but tomorrow we'll have the 8 plus against the 10. So Apple has redesigned a lot of the UI since the phone is not a home button on it. So for example, if you want to access recent apps, you just swipe, uh, swipe up from the bottom like this and then pause for a second. And the control center uh, right here in the top right corner. So first impressions, I uh, definitely do miss the home button right now, but I think after some time we'll get used to it. Now the phone does show out with the iPhone 8 Plus, for example, the uh, rear facing cameras on this should be incredible. Um, but I definitely, again guys, I do miss the home button. Uh, it would be nice if we did have the headphone jack on this, but I don't expect it to come back anytime soon. But all that aside, it should be an amazing phone and definitely looking forward to testing this out. Alright everyone, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now of course we have lots and lots and lots of iPhone 10 videos planned. So if you're not already, you can press the button below to subscribe for more videos. Or if you want to watch another video right now, you can press it in the top left or the top right. And as always guys, thanks for watching.